Hi everyone, so I've just been blogging about um, this A minor sus chord progression that I use with my students. And I thought the easiest way, rather than just describing it with words, would be to show you in a very quick video how it actually looks and sounds, uh, and then you can make a judgement as to whether you think it would work with your students. Um, what I teach the kids after, as I say in my blog post, the, uh, the basics of triads and moving around the piano, is to introduce the, the sus chord. So I've explained what it is for those of you who aren't familiar. For the chord progression though that I'm going to uh, explain to you now, we work in A minor. So get the kids to be able to play uh, an A minor triad in the right hand and I get, always get them to use uh, either single notes if their hands are small or octaves in the left hand on A and lots of right pedal because chords sound really cool with nice strong bass notes and the pedal. So is your starting point. Now, in order to make this a sus chord, we suspend the third, we don't play the third, instead we play the fourth with our fourth finger. So we have these notes here. One, four, five. Use the same note in the left hand, A, and we're going to play two sus four chords, two A minor chords, two sus two chords, and two A minor chords. And this just repeats over and over. With A's in the left hand. Okay, they could do that twice if they wanted to. Then we move the left hand down to F, but we don't move the right hand and we play the same thing. the kids, I ask them to not change their second or fifth finger, but to just slide their thumb in to the G sharp to give us an E major chord in first inversion. Okay, and that's really good practice for them moving into the black keys as well, and they tend to like doing that when they get the feeling for it. So the last one on E, E's in the left hand, we do the usual cycle, but on the last chord, instead of going back to A minor, we slide in and do E major. So the last one's like this. Now the great thing about this is that they can play it slow or fast, uh, they can do rhythms, interesting rhythms in their left hand, uh, they could do it up an octave for one cycle through. It, it, the possibilities for variation are, are limitless in some ways. Um, uh, so I'll show you how I, I'll, I normally demonstrate a few different methods to them, so I'll just run through it perhaps twice and give you some ideas of some different rhythms you can use in your left hand. Uh, and for those kids who are naturally rhythmic, they'll catch on to that really quickly. Others find it a lot harder. Um, and yeah, see what you think. and so on. And, uh, and you can get really creative with them and you can show them other things that they can do. So hopefully that's uh, given you some uh, clearer explanation than my words might have of what I was talking about in my blog article. Let me know if you've got any questions.